This is Gagan Girotra, IT Roadkey class of 2000 and I am Calcutta class of 2005. Now let's look at uh, boats in rivers. Now what happens if let's say there is a boat which can move, uh, move in a still lake, right? So let's say this boat B can move in a still lake at the speed of SB, okay? So this is a still lake. Now, if let's say we put this boat into a moving river, right, then the, the boat is going to move at a different speed with respect to somebody stationary on the, on the shore, right? So let's say if I put this boat in this river, right, which is flowing in this direction with the speed of SR, and if the boat now tries to go downstream, right, so this direction is downstream, and this direction is upstream. So if this boat, which can travel in still water, still water, at a speed of SB, right, if it moves downstream, then to an observer on the shore, the speed of the boat is going to be SB plus SR, right, because the speed of the river it gets added to the speed of the boat and the boat now actually moves faster than it would in still water right so this is the speed of the uh, speed of the boat boat speed downstream right now if let's say the same boat is now put in this river which is flowing in this direction, right, with the speed SR, right, and the boat now tries to move upstream. If the boat tries to move upstream at a speed SB in still water, then to an observer on the shore, the boat is going to go up very slowly because what is happening is that the that SB part of SB is being nullified by SR which is moving in the opposite direction so the boat speed boat speed upstream is equal to the speed of the boat minus the speed of the river now what happens is if let's say the speed of the river is greater than the speed of the boat then the boat actually moves downstream right because this now the stream is going to be able to completely overpower the speed of the boat and nullify it right now if let's say the speed of the boat uh, so let's say we call this as the speed upstream uh, sorry downstream and if we call this as the speed of the boat upstream then the relationship between the speed downstream and the speed upstream is if let's say we add the first and the second situations, we get two times the speed of the boat, right? SR and SR, negative SR, they cancel each other, equals speed of, uh, speed of the boat downstream plus the speed of the boat upstream. So speed of the boat in still water can be given by its speed downstream plus its speed upstream by two, right? Similarly, the speed of the river can be found out by subtracting 2 from 1 where we get s upstream uh, where, where we get sd minus su divided by 2 right so we can use the speed of the boat downstream and the speed of the boat upstream to calculate the speed of the boat in still water and the speed of the river. Thanks for watching the video. You can uh, give your feedback in the comments section below. Please click the like button if you thought the video was helpful. Uh, for lesson updates, you may subscribe to my YouTube channel People Plus or you may read my blogs at peopleprep.com or you can directly connect to us uh, through our Facebook page at the rate People Plus or you can email to me at gagan at the rate peopleplus.com. Thank you.